body movements how animals with bones move you know that bones joints and muscles in our body help us move in different ways just like humans many animals also have bones joints and muscles which help them move but even though these creatures have bones and joints they don't move in the same way that we do how birds fly birds fly in the sky have you wondered how they do that let's try an activity that might give you a clue take a thin piece of paper like a page from a magazine hold the short edge of the paper close to your mouth using both hands now blow hard across the top of the paper what do you think will happen will the paper go up or down you think the paper will go down but actually it lifts up that's how birds fly too no one blows air fast on the top of a bird's wings like you did on the paper but the wing has a shape where the top is longer than the bottom so the air on top goes faster than the air at the bottom birds also flap their wings to make the air move over and under the wings that is called thrust for this they use their strong breast muscles plain wings have a shape like birds wings too they don't flap the wings but use engines for thrust birds have different kinds of feathers on their body different feathers help in different jobs some feathers help in flying some help in steering some in balancing birds have a beak instead of a heavy bony jaw with teeth this makes them lighter the bones of a bird are light and hollow with air sacs this makes the bird's body lighter to fly what did we just learn the wings of birds have a shape which helps them fly in the air birds also have hollow bones and air sacs in their body they have strong wings which help them flap their wings how fish swim fish have bones too and they have a different way of moving fish swim in the water how do fish swim they do it by twisting their body and tail back and forth they have a very flexible backbone with powerful muscles and can bend their whole body in s shaped curves the fish bends one way and then the other in a wave like rhythm and keeps pushing forward the muscles around the skeleton stretch and relax alternately that helps the fish to move forward they use their back fin called the caudal fin to push them through water the other fins help the fish to balance itself and steer flippers on divers feet work like the fish fins and help the diver move easily in deep water fish can balance itself in water and move in any direction because of its body shape it's wide in the middle and narrow at the front and back such a shape is called a streamlined shape the fish can cut through the water and water flows around it easily that makes it easy for the fish to swim what did we just learn fish have strong muscles and a flexible backbone the bones and muscles help to move their body in an s shape from side to side the shape of the fish's body is streamlined so it can cut through water easily they also have fins which help them steer and balance how snakes move snakes are animals that have no legs and yet move pretty well how do snakes move let's find out 
snakes can move in four different ways. One way is the wavy motion that we think of when we think of snakes. This S-shaped motion of snakes is called the serpentine motion. Another way is the concertina. The snake holds the back while stretching the front and then holds the front and pulls in the back. Another way is the side winding. Side winding is used by snakes to move in slippery surfaces like sand or mud. It is a difficult motion to describe. It looks like the snake is throwing its head forward and then the rest of its body follows and then it throws its head forward again. Another way is the rectilinear method. This is a slow straight movement. The snake uses some of the scales it has on its belly to grip the ground while pushing forward with the others. Can you see the scales on the underside of the snake? These are the scales that help the snake grip the ground. How can snakes do all this? What's inside a snake? A snake has a simple skeleton as you can see. It has a long flexible backbone with hundreds of ribs right up to the tail. Some snakes can fly too. Do you know how they do it? They swing in the air and flatten their body by widening their ribs. This helps them to glide for long distance. What did we just learn? Snakes have no arms or legs, but they can move very well. Snakes have a long backbone and hundreds of ribs from the head to the tail. These help the snake slither on the ground. Some animals with bones and joints can move in different ways than humans. Birds can fly in the sky, fish can swim in the water and snakes can slither on the ground.